travail is a medium by which we put to bed and see it mature. You understand what travail is? Always remember that when we say travail, it is to plant a seed and not abort it. What is travailing in prayer? The prayer of travail. It's got a few things I just want to say. The prayer of travail. The prayer of travail. Are you ready for this one? All right. First of all, to travail is not what the charismatics say it is. It is not. <laughs> Stop that nonsense. Please. That's not travail. It is far more than that. Let's find out from the word of God what's travail. Remember those days on campus? When they pray and the place get heated up, then somebody will be standing. Travail, 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 travail. Please. That's not what it means. That one is campus gimmicks. Campus gimmicks. I'd like for us to see it in context what Paul is talking about. But let's read 18 and 19 and then we'll go up. Galatians chapter 4, the verse 18. But it is good to be zealously affected, always in a good thing. Say zealously affected. Say it again. That is what travail means. To be zealously affected. Always in a good thing. And not only when I'm with you. My little children. Of whom I travail in birth again. Until Christ be formed in you. Let's go up. That verse. Verse 13. You know how through infirmity of the flesh I preach the gospel unto you at the first. Please listen to this thing in context and don't, don't pick me out of context. Through infirmity of the flesh I preach the gospel unto you at the first. And my temptation which was in my flesh you did not despise nor reject it. But you received me as an angel of God even as Christ Jesus. And that is big. Where is then the blessedness you spoke of? For I bear you record that if it had been possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. Travail. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? They zealously affect you, but not well. They zealously affect you, but not well. Yea, they would exclude you that you might affect them. But it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing. And not only when I am present with you. My little children. Uh -huh. But because of a lack of travail, you dropped it. 
To travel means you get that one, you get that one, then you come, get your bucket or bus, place everything right as you should place, and now you finish that project. You're like, wow, that's my baby. Jesus hits that spot in the Mount of Gethsemane. For all his earthly work, he hit the place of travail. And the wonderful thing about travail is that travail looks as if it's just at once. Come. But no, it's a process. But the joy of travail is that it's momentary. Or ask them that have given birth before. You push, you push, you push, you push. And your pushing is not your birthing. But the birthing involves the pushing. But as soon as the child comes, boom, you birth it. But before the child comes out, you have to push. But it looks as if you are pushing and looking for their one push. You push, they tell you, push! You push! Ah! You didn't get that push. Come again, come again. You push, you push, you push. Push! Ice. You keep on chasing after one push. And then by the time you realize, you push! Wow! That was the push. And the baby is out here. And you are told congratulations. And it looks as if all the pushes that you did, it is this one push that produced the baby. But listen to me. All the pushings, the baby was coming forth one step after the other. Supplication. Please listen. Supplication. Now that you understand supplication, is the beginning of travail. However, the climax of supplication is the fullness of travail. At that point in time, God gets this step in heaven. He says, who is that? Who is this that I'm smelling? In the night when you sleep, he comes to you, what can I do for you? Yet, you created it yourself. And because you travailed and you supplicated, you will say the right things, even in your dreams. And God takes you for what you say. How dangerous it is to dream. If God would want to find out what you want best in this life, why doesn't he wait till every aspect of your mind works? What do you want? They begin to calculate. No. The spirit sets it. What is the intent of the spirit? For the spirit sets at your spirit. Do you know the real meaning of what you are saying? I want to take it again. For when you say, Daddy, I praise you. The spirit sets at your spirit to find. If you are not saying, Daddy, just be there. For many people do not know that they deceive their heart. James said deceiving themselves whenever you say a thing i told you that the bible says that god says oh i love thee why because thou hast heard my voice and thou hast heard my supplications your voice is saying one thing and the spirit had it then the spirit gets within you to find out if that is really what you are saying within So the Bible says that the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts, that is what comes together to be acceptable in His sight. Anyway, it's not just a matter of the words of our mouth. It is not just the meditations of our heart. The two must come together. Then we find acceptability before God. 
to travel. To travel. Also suggests great labor and work. As soon as I travel, she brought forth. I remember that he said, have you ever heard these things? And have you seen such things? Has a nation be born at once? But as soon as I travel, she brought forth. Colossians chapter 4, the verse 12 to 13. Quickly. Colossians 4, verse 12 to 13. Watch this. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluted you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers. Travail, travail, that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. So travail demands one, the spirit, and two, a father. If you do not have a father, there is no travail. The requirements of travail, the spirit within you, a father for you. My little children, for whom I travail, children must have fathers to receive the travail of their fathers. So that that which must be carved in them matures. Listen to me. To just pray without a father, you would not have prayed because it is dangerous. You don't meddle in the grounds of travailing prayer where you don't have a covering. And hear this. So much more is accomplished by your father and by the spirit more than you. In the prayers of travail. At least. When we travail. We don't travail for ourselves. Now. Did you ever see a mother. Travailing for herself. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do mothers travail for themselves. They travail for who? Their children. They travail for their children. The question is, Pastor, I'm traveling. I'm traveling. For who? In the deepest realms of travail, we don't seek our own. We seek our children. I didn't say we seek our children's own. We seek our children. Not our children's own. In the deepest realms of travail. We neither seek our own. We don't seek our children's own. We seek our children. The prayers of travail. We want a wholesome child. We don't want the child to come forth. Having lost our breath. Because we did not push. For you know that when you delay travail. It is said that the baby is locked up. And then loses breath. Why must you travail? That child has come to that point. Of opportunity. He will need a father to open that door. He will need a mother to open that door. Hey, if you are here you have not got a father or a mother. Soon you will be losing breath. The danger of travail. Always look at it as a mother. Who must travail. And has become so sensitive to pain. So sensitive to herself. And she starts making confessions. I can bear this. I don't know why. I went this path. This baby has been worrying me for the past nine months. To climb and sit on. Look at that pain. No. No true mother speaks that way. I've carried this for nine months. I've not come this far to drop it. I brought it this far. Not to kill it. I 
I brought it this far. Not, it, not to allow it to lose bread. It's alive. It is kicking. It wants to show up to the world. The longer I delay, I lose it. Now watch this. Without the prayer of travail, or without traveling prayers, heaven wails, say, ah, ah, we wish she knew. We wish that young man knew. We wish they could see it. Now watch Daniel. 21 days of prayer. Praying and praying. And nothing is showing up. But brother, something was working in the spirit. The Bible said that the angel appeared and said, Daniel, I have come because of your words. Pastor, nothing shows up when I pray. Who told you? Why don't you just begin to see that you have made one inch progress? Or you have made three foot or feet progress? You are closer to it than you think. When the understanding of travail hits a man, he knows that. Every minute of prayer counts. Every moment of a service counts. Listen to me. When you don't come for Thursday service, the one that came has an advantage over you because of travail. That person obtains something you never obtain because of travail. Every meeting in the spirit culminates in what we produce because of travail. I want to encourage you, prayer is not a waste. Since we are talking about prayer mechanics, Remember we said that when we talk about mechanics, we are thinking about the rate of output. We are looking at how fast we can get it. And how fast we get it is how diligent we stay at it. How fast we get it is how diligent we stay at it. Never lag in zeal. Never giving up. The other day Elijah was praying. He said to Ahab, Ahab, take the lead. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Ahab, you need the word of God. Yet there was no sign. Here was Elisha. Elijah posed as of a woman who was giving birth. And Elijah said, Elisha, go and check. The servant of the prophet stepped out. Came back and said, Master, there is no sign of rain. He said, go and check again. And know as I'm doing my Pythagoras, as I'm working it in my inner chambers, I know that when there is no sign in the skies, when the clouds are only full of rain, they will empty themselves. Say, so let's keep doing it. Say, so go again. How many a times in travail, we push the first. Something is happening in the spirit, yet we don't see it. We push the next, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. And look at heaven's side. When we push the seat and say that, Daddy, I heard the sound of abundance of rain. But there is no sign. You know the answer God is telling you to do? Why don't you push one more time? Why don't you take another opportunity and fast? Why don't you read the Bible again? Why don't you say, oh, even if there is no sign, I take a hold of what I heard. Oh, when the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves. Elijah said, go again. And listen, in travail, we don't see the whole baby. The doctor says, the head is coming. You didn't hear what I said. The doctor doesn't say that the baby is out. The doctor encourages you, the head. Then he says, the head. Then he says, the neck. He said, push still. And you know the beauty of travail. When you push some more, watch this. You are not the one to push the whole baby out. The Holy Ghost is here to just receive the head. And then the Holy Ghost draws out that which you have created all the while. It's like a doctor that is aiding a woman in travail. Listen to me. When we travail, we should know that the Holy Ghost is our standby. The Holy Ghost is right where we are. Just as a midwife. Standing by you. Don't ask questions. Don't fret. Keep at it. Don't say I'm not seeing anything. Be convinced. That there is 
power in travail. I never found anyone that meant it and didn't see it. I said I never found anyone that meant it and didn't see it. There is power in travail. When we say we travail, the old folks said pray to. The old folks said pray through. The old folks said push it through. Them old folks knew what it meant to travail. To travail is not to go into prayer and not know what you're about because you don't know what to pray for. No, he didn't say that. We don't know how we should pray. But we know what we want. What we want is on the inside. What we want is a spirit within. What we want has been capped. It comes to the place of adoption. What a pity. When you come to that place in prayer, you pray. You mix it with supplication. Your supplication is making the clouds to form. And listen to this one. When the servants of the prophet came back, he said, Master, I can see cloud like the hands of a man. Oh, so whilst you pray, there is a hand in the heavenlies. As you pray, as you groan, as you travail, there is a hand that is overseeing the situation. There is a hand. Did you say you want to rain? There is a hand in the clouds where the rain must come from. And it's pulling that cloud. And it's pulling that cloud. Yet you don't see it. Yet something is at work. I'm telling you. You see, we have come to the place of travail as a commission. We have not come this far to drop the baton. We have not come this far to drop it here. There is a hand. There is a hand. We may be in Kumasi. But outside of our reach, there is a hand. There is bringing us what we should desire. I am telling you, you are not sick. You are not sick. Hey, the healing has started. Why don't you see life? Do the first time. Don't give up. Do the second time. Don't give up. Do the third time. Don't give up. Keep going. It is working. There is a time of travail. In travail, we set up our hearts. Until, until, what is the mark of travail? The mark of travail is one word, until. I'm not giving up here. I am not dying this time. I, I've been sick with this disease for the past seven years. Is it another more year I can live through? Until. Ha 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 ha. Travail. Is to create and to complete. To travail. It's not to go into prayer. Not knowing what you want. But it is to go into prayer. And by the eye of the spirit. To see something is happening. On your case. I announce to everybody. Rest your case. On this mountain of God. He sees to it. The Lord is attending to that issue. Rest your case on this mountain of God. He sees to it. Nothing is too late. Nothing is fault. In the prayer of travail. Ha, 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 ha. In the prayer of travail. We don't give up. In the prayer of travail. We say. If I've been doing it at dawn. And I'm not seeing results. I will add the afternoon to it. If I'm doing it at dawn and in the afternoon. And nothing is showing up. Why don't I add the evening to it? If I'm doing it at dawn. And I'm doing it. In the afternoon. And I'm doing it. In the evening. I'm not seeing results. Why don't I add the night to it? I went 24 hours. I'm not seeing it. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy. Come it. In the morning. Please. 
Rest your case. Nothing is faulty yet. I said, rest your case. Nothing is faulty yet. We are those that don't give up. In the adversity, in your strength fail, you are a weak specimen. But hey, having the all to stand, I the rule of Sunday recipe. Jacob, the Christian, the Christian with him, and until the breaking of the day, the Christian, when the man has to with Jacob, his thigh and his leg bone was dislocated. Please listen. For all that has costed you, count it all joy. You are suffering. Count it all joy when we go through diverse temptations. For there has never been a temptation that has overcome anyone than that which is common to man. I speak to you. You don't have a special issue. You have a common issue. That issue is common. That issue is not special. Listen to me. In the place of travail, the angel said, Leave me alone. Ah, for this is almost here. But Jacob said, Until you bless me, I will not let you go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on for a moment. Hold on for a moment and listen to this one. Jacob is one man, but Israel is a people. Jacob is one man. But Israel means a nation. Jacob said, until you bless me. Now listen to this one. I won't let you go. Instantly. The angel said, you are one man. But I realize that when you fought, you fought as a nation. You is not only Jacob. You is Israel. I told you, we travail because it is not for ourselves, but it is for our children. When Jacob travailed, whenever you see a man of importunity, whenever you see a man that does not give up, it is because he is bigger than what people say. It is because he is bigger than himself. I announce to you, Christ cosmopolitan. We are bigger than one church. We are bigger than one assembly. In the midst of travail, we see India. In the midst of travail, we see South Africa. In the midst of travail, we see Hungary. In the midst of travail, we see Indonesia. In the midst of travail, we see Zimbabwe. In the midst of travail, we see Argentina. In the midst of travail, we see Saudi Arabia. Until, until, until I have come to far. It started as his fear. I didn't die. It is 12. I didn't die. 3 a.m. I did not die. It is 4. I am not dead. Are you trying to tell me that for all my sufferings, I should go with nothing until you bless me? I will let you go. Listen. Travail may request for one man, but when a man travails, God sees more than one man. He said, You shall be called Israel, for thou hast prevailed with God and with man, and hast prevailed. Travailing brings about prevailing. Until you travail, you don't. Prevail. Supplication is good. Prayer makes with supplication moves the hand of God. And now when supplication gets mixed up with travail, it completes the work. Then 
one prevails. Brother, daddy, mommy, sweetheart, why are you giving up so easily? Why do you feel like dropping the baton? Paul said, I have run the race. It is not enough to run. I have kept the faith. It is not enough to keep the faith. I have finished my course. Now there is laid up for me a crown. Which the Lord shall give. Oh! So whilst we were running, there was an awaiting crown. As you pray, you pray beyond you. As you cry, you cry beyond you. Whenever a man realizes that he is bigger than himself and that nations are tied to him, he will do everything in Savio. Look at Moses in a basket. Hold on for a moment. In Egypt. And this young Moses, the mother is hiding him because he cries. What was he crying about? Mommy, I cry for my people. Babies have come and gone, and those that don't cry get killed. If we don't cry, we'll be killed. Mommy, allow me to cry. The mother said, I'll hide you in the rivers of Egypt. Pharaoh's daughter appeared. More than you. More than you. More than you, brother, more than you. You are a nation. More than you. More than you. More than you. Thus, scripture says, Moses, little Moses is in a basket. Pharaoh's daughter says, I can see something in the water. Bring it here. As soon as they open the basket, Moses cries, You can't kill me. I am this time in a basket. But destiny of the whole nation depends on me. Sister, you are in a basket today. But you are the preservation. Now listen, the Bible said that God said, I bore you on eagle's wings for by a prophet. Israel was redeemed. And for by a prophet, Israel was preserved. My God, what if baby Moses kept quiet? He kept crying. That year, caught a hold of Pharaoh's daughter. She said, this one must not die. I'll make this one my own. Oh. Church of God. In the prayer of Travail. What we have started, we don't drop it till it is finished. Listen to this. Jesus on the cross said it is finished in Revelation. The angel with the seven vials of God's wrath said it is done. It is only amongst men that we hear unable. But for men who know their reason even angels declare it is done. Jesus declared it is finished. Only men say, I can't. What is left for the church to say? Is this. It is completed. My little children, for whom I travel until Christ be fully formed in you. We need three personalities in travail. One, the spirit. Two, a father. Three, your will. 
sit down. If you are pregnant and you are here, sit where you are and place that hand on your belly. That baby will not be aborted. Henceforth, there will be no longer miscarriage in this commission. Even to a thousand generations. Travail. Travail. The power of travail. The prayer of travail. Have we come all these years from Central International School to Culture Center, to the overflow, to this mountain, to go to the watershed and fail? No! Why and how travail? We have not come this far to drop it. We have not come this far to lose it. Sister, brother, you have lived two days without falling. Travel says the same grace that kept you two days will keep you one week. You have seen a glorious life for one week. Travel says the grace that kept you for one week will keep you for one month. Travel says I went through one month. It will keep me one year. Then it keeps you for life. We all have come this way before. We have been tested and tried. And we have been proven to be men that stand. Never give up when you sense God leading you in a direction. Don't let your strength be. Don't be a weak specimen. The prayer of Tavir. I continue on Sunday.